We have a trade to announce. The Toronto Maple Leafs trade Peter Mazarek and pick number 25, which will be the next pick in this year's draft, to the Chicago Blackhawks for pick number 38 in this year's draft. So Toronto trades Mazarek and pick 25 to the Blackhawks for pick 38. All right, so Chicago will be on the clock right now. And something with Chicago and the Canadian teams, right? They've made trades now with Ottawa, with Montreal, and with Toronto. But how about this? Yes. Let's go back to last year's trade deadline. You remember what happened there? Flurry, that whole situation. And Kyle Dubas was not at all happy with Kyle Davidson that time because he felt that the trade got leaked out and that there was some potential at that time to bring flurry to Toronto when that didn't happen you had to wonder if those two were ever going to talk again but when you're sitting there and you need to make your team better you know you need to get out of that cap uh, salary issue that the Toronto Maple Leafs have this is a way to do it yet they still get a pick in an area where they probably get a player they like so are they freeing up money they don't have Jack Campbell as a UFA they don't have a goalie right now Peter Morazic and Jack Campbell are they freeing up money and if, if so for who because flurry signed today I in don't Minnesota. know if so for who but I'll, maybe Ville Husso who's going to be a free uh, agent but I talked to uh, Josh ba or Jason about this just before we came back on there they're freeing up money I don't know who it's for but I might think maybe Ville Husso well, I'm going to throw Kemper into that mix, too, I guess, to be determined at another show next week, be with us, Pierre. Uh, this is a little bit of a surprise for me. I didn't think that Mrazek was going to be a tradable asset in any type of scenario. I thought he was a bio candidate. So this is a win for Toronto. This is a win because they're in win-now mode, and they free up some cash. You know, Chicago got rid of some money today with uh, getting rid of Alex Dabrinkit and his six and a half million cap and nine million in cash. So there was some space for Kyle Davidson to do things. Man, these young guys come in there and they start firing, don't they? Yes. Wow. <laughs> they do. So we're not going to hear from the Maple Leafs until tomorrow unless something changes with the last five picks because they've moved their only first round pick, number 25, to Chicago for the 38th pick. But again, it's moving that salary of Peter Morazic. The cap space costs something and it costs them a first round pick.